It has been almost two years of novel coronavirus pandemic since its identification in December 2019 in Wuhan, China. Since then, the virus is constantly mutating and evolving, taking the form of newer variants such as Alpha, Beta, Delta, and now the latest variant Omicron. And in today's video, you will find answers to almost all the questions you might have about the variant such as what is Omicron, where it came from, how many countries are affected from it, why Omicron is called as a variant of concern, what are the common symptoms, how dangerous is it, and how to detect this variant. Can RT-PCR tests detect the novel variant? Are existing vaccines effective against it? And at last, I will reveal a very important information regarding the future of viruses and variants that I am sure none of you would want to miss. So watch the video till the end. We all know viruses are smart creatures. Its small genome mutates rapidly due to the fast multiplication rate. The more opportunities a virus has to spread within and among individuals, the more chances the virus gets to mutate itself. Mutation is not a new thing. Even we, the humans, are constantly mutating. But our DNA repair machinery repairs most of the mutations. And thus, the rate of mutation in us is far very low compared to viruses. Omicron is the result of mutations in novel coronaviruses. The first case of Omicron variant was reported in late November 2021 from South Africa. Since then, it has spread to over 63 countries including United Kingdom, Japan, Brazil, America and India. Omicron has surpassed Delta variant in terms of its speed of spread across different countries. As on December 9, there are about 4,500 cases of Omicron variant reported in different countries, half of which are from Africa itself. India has reported over 38 Omicron cases, with highest cases in Maharashtra followed by Rajasthan, Karnataka, Gujarat, Delhi and Andhra Pradesh. Most of the infected people were found to be of age over 18. Omicron has several mutations throughout the viral genome, including 32 mutations in the spike protein. It is the protein with which the virus finds its entry in the human cell and infects us. This variant is unique. It has acquired many of the mutations present in the other previous strains such as Alpha, Beta, Gamma and Delta. WHO labeled it as a variant of concern. A variant of concern is the one that either has high transmission from one person to the another or produce severe disease symptom or escapes vaccination or other treatments and infects the people easily. Some of these mutations in Omicron are associated with higher transmission and the ability to escape immune protection. Talking about the symptoms of Omicron variant. Some of the symptoms of this strain are common to the previous strains. Most common symptoms include fever, cough, tiredness, loss of taste or smell. Less common symptoms are sore throat, headache, pain, diarrhea, rashes on the skin, discoloration of finger or toes, red or irritated eyes. And more serious symptoms include difficulty in breathing or shortness of breath, loss of speech or mobility and chest pain. As of today, Delta variant is the most prevalent variant of novel coronaviruses. All of us know about the number of people hospitalized, needed extra oxygen supply, ventilators and also the number of people who lost their lives due to the Delta variant. Considering high rate of transmission of Omicron strain, it is anticipated to be the most prevailing strain in near future. But the thing that worries everyone is how dangerous is Omicron variant. As per reports, Omicron variant mostly leads to milder symptoms and only a very small fraction needs hospitalization. This suggests that variant is not too dangerous. Although the virus and its spike protein has got mutated, our immune system, which includes B cell and T cells, still recognizes various other unmutated epitopes of the virus via antibodies. Thus, there are still fair chances that our body may recognize the newer strain and suppress its spread. But unless more cases are examined, it is too early to conclude about the health impact of the Omicron variant. 
The next most common question people ask is whether the vaccines effective against the Omicron variant. As of now, if not all, many of us have received one or both the vaccine doses. Omicron variant is comparatively new and most people examined have shown milder symptoms. Preliminary laboratory studies demonstrate that the vaccines such as Covaxin, AstraZeneca's Covishield, Pfizer, Sputnik will be effective against novel variant at least to some extent. But one who has got vaccinated must not think he may not catch the virus. In fact, many people who received even the single or both the doses of their vaccine too got infected but the disease severity was found to be milder. A booster shot may further enhance the immune response of the body. UK government is planning to provide booster shots to all those above the age of 30 by the end of January. Indian government may soon insist its people to go for a booster dose too, but only time will reveal the actual effectiveness of the vaccines. To learn more about how vaccine works and various types of COVID-19 vaccines, I have made videos on each of them. Their link is given in the description below. Now let's see how this variant can be detected. A general way to identify novel variant like Omicron relies on genome sequencing which may take 1 to 2 days and is costly too. ICMR India has developed a hydrolysis probe based RT-PCR kits to identify the novel variant within 2 hours. If you want to learn how RT-PCR kits and rapid antigen test works in detecting COVID-19 infection, do watch my videos available on my channel. I have also provided the link in the description. It is anticipated that Omicron, if causes another wave of pandemic, it will be much more rapid than the previous strain. It does not really matter if you are vaccinated or not, or if you have recovered from previous COVID infection, viruses will keep on mutating itself. With advanced genome sequencing, we are about to identify many more such variants in future. It is best to maintain personal hygiene, healthy diet, stress-free life and joyful living in addition to following the government COVID-19 regulations to combat the ever-evolving viruses. You are watching Explore Bio and if you find the information useful, do not forget to share with others. Comment and email me at explorebio at yahoo.com for any suggestions or requests. Check out my playlist on diverse topics such as diseases, research, publishing, techniques, genetics, genomics and others. Do subscribe and hit the bell icon to stay informed about my weekly uploads. Thanks and see you in my another video.